Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I've got a very special video. In today's video we are going to learn how to fix this problem here. Yes, yes, uh, you've probably been through this. That's probably why you're watching this video. If you've ever taken a hard crash on your DJI Air unit and you've shattered your camera and you went ahead and you paid way too much and got yourself a new one and you just don't know how to put it on, well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go. Oh. Alright pilots, so here we are. We are going to install this brand new DJI camera. It's very, very simple. This is going to be a short and sweet video. You're going to be back in the air thanking me in no time. Let's go ahead and get her done. So pull out your new camera and set her aside. Alright, so you should be familiar with a 1.5 millimeter tip. Uh, it's very common in FPV drones. Uh, we always use 2.52 and 1.5, those are just the common sizes. So if you've built any drones before, then you 99.9% .9 have this driver. Actually, if you've installed this camera on your quad, then you have this driver. It's the same driver that takes these screws in and out. So no worries there, don't panic, you've got what you need. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take these screws out of the back. And there's only one thing you really got to worry about when you're doing this, and that is the arrow on the back. And I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it, so don't worry. And don't lose your screws because, oh, you do get new screws. Okay. You get new screws, so it don't matter. All right, so you've taken the back off, and you were extra careful because, hey, you could damage something, and we don't want to do that. So after you've done that, Go ahead and take a look inside and you're going to see that there's a connector in there that is connected. Now this connector gets connected to the left side and your arrow goes up. Now your arrow is what's on your back plate, right? So I've got this here with no arrow, so which way is up? Well, the only way to know is to pay attention to the orientation right now before you switch it over or you can use this little pad as your indicator or use the connection point as your indicator, whichever you'd like. But make sure you've done something to remember which side is up, which side is down. So after you've done that, you now need to pop this very, very tiny ribbon cable out of here. There's nothing special to it. You're literally just gonna pop it off, but you do need to be careful because you can damage it. So don't do that. Use something very small to get up in there, and you're just going to kind of pop it off. That's it. Did you see how easy that was? I know. I know. It's wickedly easy. After you've done that, you get to keep your overpriced uh, shattered DJI camera as a souvenir and set your souvenir to the side. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your new camera, and you're going to make sure you're putting your connector to the left side. And your orientation does matter because what's going to happen is you've got an arrow here and you're going to naturally mount that arrow. See the arrow right there? You're going to mount that arrow facing up and then your quad is not going to be in the up position and that's just going to be extremely annoying. So to avoid from that, make sure your connector is going towards the left and at that time is when your arrow will be facing upwards. Okay? And God forbid you have mounted it upside down and that's why you're watching this video. You can go into your settings and you can flip the screen. So it's not the end of the world. It's not my main, uh, it's not what I want to happen, but it's not the end of the world. The next thing we need to do is we need to get this ribbon cable back installed and it's just a very uh, meticulous thing to do. And you can break it, so be careful. Because you break it, you buy it. So I've kind of lined it up and I held it with my thumb. I'm not sure if you can see that. And after you've done that, you're just going to give it a push into place. You should, you should hear it click. And then I'm going to double press everywhere. And there you go. My ribbon cable is back connected making sure that my arrow is so 
Connectors to the left, arrow goes up, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on. But before I do that, I do need to take these little screws out real quick. All right, so with your screws out, you can put your back back on. There's a little bit of foam in there giving you just a little bit of resistance, which is a good thing. And then put your screw in. Now grab your next and last screw, drop it in, make sure it's lined up and lock it down. Super easy, super simple, make sure it's super tight. I mean, don't be a, a brute about it or don't be obnoxious, you know, but make sure it's tight. All right, pilot. so our new DJI camera is on. We are ready to go. You can now see the difference between the two. All right, there you go, pilots. Short and sweet video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one.